I mean, do you just feel like despised when you walk by first class people on a plane? Have <laughs> you ever had an experience? You know, you're walking by and, 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 and they look up and you're like, they're like, so second classer. And I'm like, sorry for existing. Sorry you have to look at me. Look away. Close the curtain. I mean, that's how you feel, right? <laughs> it's just, a, I mean, just once I want to like throw up or sneeze or just, you know. And, and here's the bad thing is, is, is I got put on a first class flight a few years ago to go on vacation with my wife with Jeff and Jenny Vanderstel. And I got in first class and I was like, there go the cattle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did not take my heart long just to go right there self-righteous, you know what I mean? Hmm, should I pull up my laptop and make a million dollars right now on my computer? Or should I roll my seat back and take a nap? I mean, it was like, man, this is how it rolls. And then, like, you kind of don't want to be around those people, you know? It's like, oh, they might, you know, touch me and get something on me. And those people who had to wait in line, I mean, ugh. I was in line a few weeks ago going to an action nine event, and I texted Bob Wilt, who flies first class, because I flew there one time, and we, and we walk past all the cattle, walk around, and literally the security person goes, hello, Mr. Wilt, right this way. And I was like, who's that guy? And they, they didn't take off our shoes. They didn't even, like, pad me down. They looked at me, smiled, and I was on the plane. I'm like, that's how you got to roll. <laughs> so I'm standing in line a few weeks later, and I told Bob, I said, there's nothing that makes you feel so average as standing in line at an airport. And what's going on here in Corinth is that the Lord's Supper had become an opportunity for them to make each other feel average. Paul's like, that's, that's no deal. No deal. That, that's going against the very essence and nature of the meaning that the table carries. The, the table is where we remember there are no classes in Christianity. There are no haves and have-nots. There are no better races or lesser races or better classes or lower classes. They are one in Christ, brother, sister, Son, daughter, loved by Jesus. That's the beauty of what happens at the cross. Different social classes, different family backgrounds, different life experiences are brought together with the common reality of having been saved by Jesus.